This is English 144. Today we are talking about metacognition of what we've learned this past student in English. Blaze, what do you feel is most significant and helpful information you learned in the metacognitive, metacognitive portion of our first year? The most important thing I've learned about this unit is important to get sleep. So you can focus during school. Do you have evidence to support that? No. You said because sleep helps us in school. Yeah. It helps um, you focus. I, I agree with Blaze because it can help us focus and it'll like help the information stay in our brains for a longer period. I agree with Shelby. Sleep is also very important uh, because a study in 2016 shows that sleep deprivation causes more than $400 billion in economic losses annually in the United States, results in 1.23 million lost days of work each year. This is this could also call into the fact of like school, how students aren't getting the right amount of sleep. Sometimes they feel tired and just don't come to school, which increases their learning. Uh, Jack, what learning and our reading strategies did you find most helpful in this unit? Uh, Really? Really? No. That, like, the greater text. That is what I call it. I agree with Jack. Um, as we read as a group, uh, it will help, help each other socialize a little bit more. I learned that when you read the text slower or more, and they think about it and have a conversation with your thoughts and you can talk about it. Understand more of what that's uh, Shelby, what did we do in the, in the class that helped you learn that? Um, Feel is the most significant and helpful information you learned in the communication portion of our first unit. Uh, I learned it's very important in the classroom to be able to communicate with your classmates and the teacher to understand what they're learning. Yes, I agree. Um, some evidence for us. Like we did the activity where we sat. Uh, back to back to other people, and we drew the other picture that they were describing to us. And if they didn't well, clear it up with their description, they could turn out completely different way. Yes, it is crucial that 
the way our communication works. If you do not communicate right, then the other person will not understand you. Therefore, we'll kind of just be stuck looking at each other for a couple of minutes. I would say the most important thing that I learned about communication is it is very important amongst us because we use it all the time to communicate amongst one another. Because, yeah, and it's starting to get broken up because we're starting to use our cell phones to talk amongst each other instead of hand on hand socialization. Do you have any uh, evidence about the uh, smartphones? Um, I'm sorry. Um, on the other, like, with the activity we did and talking in the phone, yeah, sometimes I have to be more specific and describe what it's about, what you're talking about, so the other person can understand what you're talking about. I'll ask myself the question here. Maybe someone else can uh, join in after I ask myself this question. Uh, the question here is, what do you feel is the most significant and helpful information you learned in the metacognition cognition portion of our proceeding? I said, I feel like the most significant and helpful information is in the meta metacognition portion of our proceeding would be learning about sleep and taking our amount uh, notes. Because I was once again reminded that I uh, do absolutely need to get the right amount of sleep. Um, some evidence I have for this uh, is uh, research states that every hour of lost sleep increases the risk of suicide and depression. Scientists found that each hour of lost sleep was associated with a 38% increase um, of, of risk of feeling sad or hopeless and a 58% increase in suicide attempts uh, for this question. So I claim that getting our sleep is um, very crucial, and very much needed. I was think one of the important things I learned was sometimes you need a little bit of boredom so you can be more creative and learn more things. Well, I learned that you need to use your time wisely and it will make you get your work done faster. And this evidence from our text we did in the past says we're continuously squeezing as many tasks as we can into our days when in fact it's really about simplifying how we work and getting things getting things done faster and doing things better. I have a quote that goes with that, Ava, as well. My quote um, states, if it's your job to eat a frog, it's best to do it first in the morning. If it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. It's following your sit your quote, uh, using your time wisely is very important throughout your day because everyone has 24 hours, so you might as well use your 24 hours wisely. And what do you think was the most important thing you learned about yourself? Uh, I learned something about myself that I shouldn't use my cell phone as much and I should use more face-on-face more -face interaction. What is something you've learned about yourself? I've learned that better to talk in person instead of over text. Do you have given the evidence that why can you, um, can you explain more why you think it's better to talk in person than use your smartphone? 
Yes, I've got the communication skills. Yes. All right. Saved by the bell, right? <laughs> okay, outside circle. What did the inside circle do well? Uh, I thought that Ava and Angel especially provided a very good amount of um, evidence. Yeah. Evidence. Yeah, we did have some good evidence. Yeah. Very good. What else? Good job, Colby. You're really participating. So, inviting others in? Yeah. Yes, who was playing sound? Okay, outside of the outside yeah. circle is the most exciting. Okay, what's that? Yes, it's we're, we're recording our. Well, let's not. We are recording our celebration and review, reflecting on how we did. So, outside circle, what else did they do well? I think Angel's really good at keeping, like, Okay, so what, what kinds of skills did Angel exhibit that everyone else can exhibit as well, can, can do, use? Asking questions, right? What kinds of questions were the most productive? Right, specifically asking someone what they think. Yeah, what do you think? We all are thinking. Okay, so um, it was great that you didn't say, do you have something to say? Do you have an answer? What, you know, because that, the answer to that is oftentimes very easily, no. <laughs> so yeah, an open-ended question. Very good. What other things? Good job. said that wasn't supposed to do anything either. Got some conversation, trying to conversation. He was willing to step up when, when there was silence. Was there silence? Yes. Is it awkward? Yes. Yeah, it's awkward when we have silence. Americans are not used to silence. And actually, silence is something that we should all get used to, to having in our lives because it helps us stop and think. However, when we're in a timed conversation like this, we do want to keep things going. So um, the idea of asking questions does keep that going. What else gave depth to the conversation? Besides questions. The evidence. The evidence, right? Because once you put evidence out there, that helps other people go, oh yeah, I remember when they that and new thoughts start coming. Right. And backing up your opinion with evidence is always a strong point in discussion. All right, very good. Outside circle, did you could you hear the inside circle well? Uh, when well, Blaze talked, it was a little quieter. Okay, so we still need to consider our our volume. So make sure outside circle when you come in that you're concentrating on your volume and your like clarity. Had a that, that there was pressure. I second that. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do quickly and quietly switch places. Outside circle, come in. Inside circle, go out. And tell you what you'll be trying. Good job. Thank you. 